Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters. Let me move the camera here. See if I can get a better angle. Sun's pretty bright today. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful Sabbath today. Uh, it's kind of cold. It's been, and it's, I'm sure in some of you, I know I've watched on the news, some of you are experiencing lots of snow in some places. Uh, so uh, it's, it's getting chilly but uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful day and we give thanks to the Creator for, for allowing us to have another day here to serve and love Him. Uh, today I want to talk about the Torah portion for this week which is found in the 33rd chapter of uh, Genesis and it is the story uh, we're talking about Jacob again in that uh, part of the uh, Genesis and it's about his homecoming he's coming back home you know he um, he moved off to marry his wives and he was gone for a couple of decades and he's coming back home and you know when I was reading it this week there's it's about brotherly love uh, it's about uh, love in general it's about forgiveness uh, tolerance understanding and and putting ourselves in the background for a little bit pushing ourselves aside and thinking of others um, you know what happened was many of you know the story so Jacob and Esau they're twins they're brothers but they're twins uh, and there's there's a bond there anyone that's had twins or been around twins know that they have a, a different kind of bond than um, than just siblings do and so at some point Jacob kind of took advantage of Esau he took advantage of him and he got his birthright uh, and then he leaves and he goes on and he marries Leah and he marries uh, uh, Rachel and he builds a home and a life and family and servants and cattle and all this kind of stuff and he's coming back home because the father tells him he's like hey I want you to go back home. You've been here long enough. Pack up your stuff and go back home. So Jacob does that, but he gets wind that his brother is coming to meet him. And there's this fear there that his brother's coming to kill him. Because Esau's thinking the same thing because of what he hears. They both think that each other is going to kill each other. And in some ways, you know, Jacob is right to kind of fear that. You know, not only did he kind of, uh, in a sneaky way, um, get, get uh, Esau's birthright because he's, he was the firstborn, but he also took his wife. A lot of people don't know this. In other writings, if you read uh, in other writings about this story, uh, it's believed that Leah was originally uh, betrothed or given to uh, or meant for, I guess I, I should say, meant for Esau because Esau was the firstborn and Leah was the firstborn and they were meant for each other. And because Jacob had the birthright, he went and he married her and Re, uh, Rebecca or, or Rachel. Uh, and so he, um, he got both wives <laughs> and Esau didn't get either of them. And so he's, he's probably, you know, mad at that too. And, and Jacob realizes that. He realizes that my brother, who's a big, burly, outdoorsy hunter guy and a little short-tempered, uh, he's probably not very happy with me. And he probably thinks that I'm coming home to claim what's mine. I already took what was his uh, with, a, with his uh, wife that was supposed to have been his. And now I'm coming home to take everything else. And he fears that you know, Esau is gonna, gonna kill him. And you know what, I think, and this is just my own assumptions, he's probably not afraid just for the fact that he knows that Esau could probably do it, that he probably has the capability. He's stronger, he's probably, you know, tactically better. Uh, he may have more people, more, you know, more men to fight. Um, but I think he's also afraid because he knows that he doesn't want to get for it to go to that point. He does not want to fight his brother to the death. Regardless of who wins and who loses, he does not want to fight his brother, his twin, to the death. And, and so I think that that's another thing that he just, he doesn't want to go there, doesn't want it to go there. 
So anyways, how the story goes, and you know, there's you know more to it than that, so I'm abbreviating the story. Uh, Jacob sets up a, a dummy camp, a, a ploy, um, sends, uh, separates his people into two camps so that the, uh, his wives and his children kind of stay behind. And if anything happens, they'll be you know, possibly able to get away to safety. And then it happens. Here comes Esau. He's got his like 400 men. And it looks like this, you know, this is going down. I'm, you know, I'm going to die. My, my family's gonna be taken, I, this is over. And Jacob goes out and he, you know, he's, he's on the ground, he's, he's you know, hoping and begging that, that uh, Esau will have mercy on him. And what does Esau do? He runs up to him and he embraces him and he kisses him. And he, he's so thankful that he sees his long lost brother because again, they're twins, they have a connection. And they were, you know, apart for so many years. And I think this is something that we need to learn with each other, our own brothers and sisters, whether they're biological or in the Lord, that, you know, there may be times that we say and do things that hurt our feelings or hurt their feelings or that we're just so angry and we don't want to speak to them, we don't want to have anything to do with them. Um, but, you know, we need to swallow our pride. We need to forgive them. We need to think of them, to, to understand uh, things from their perspective. Uh, try to see through their eyes, you know, the old uh, Indian proverb of, you know, walking a mile in the other man's moccasins, uh, that sort of thing. Um, and realize that many times what we think at first are things worth fighting over, are things worth hating over. Uh, a lot of times they're not quite as big a deal uh, as we originally thought. And, um, and, you know, realizing that, that the love that we have for each other is really what's most important. Uh, and, and I think that's, that's something, at least that's what I've gotten uh, out of the, the Torah portion for this week, is that, uh, you know, we have to push ourselves aside sometimes so that we see the bigger picture and see uh, others, their, their situation, their feelings, uh, their heart, and realizing that uh, in the end, uh, love can win over the day, uh, and, and we can forgive, and we can look past our differences and past the hurt that we may have done to each other, um, because, uh, you know, whether it's a biological brother or sister, or, you know, in the Lord, um, we, we have to be able to, to mend those relationships, because, um, because it's it's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to love each other. We're supposed to love our brother, uh, and and it's something that that we're told to do. And I think many times we just you know it's either too hard or the feelings we take them too serious. Um, but uh, in this example, uh, I mean he took he took everything from Esau. Really, he took his inheritance. He took his wife, uh, and still they were able to to reconnect and to look past all that, look past the anger and the hurt and, and not kill each other, literally. <laughs> all right, um, remember that, hopefully. Uh, that will help someone out there this week, uh, in the weeks to come. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful Sabbath today. Shalom.